In a 10,000 square foot basement of an undisclosed location at Yale, there exists a collection of over 1,000 pieces of artistic and historical furniture. Called the Furniture Study, it is one of the three galleries contained within the Yale University Art Gallery. And this is the only one that's sort of off the footprint of the art gallery. The collection began with a contribution from Francis P. Garvin in 1930, which included about 10,000 pieces created between 1650 and 1830. The study actively builds upon this initial gift and contains pieces from the early colonial period all the way to the present day. Yale was his alma mater. Uh, it was natural to him to you know, want to sort of give back to his, to his school and have this sort of be the, uh, the repository for his collection. All of the furniture was made in the United States and therefore provides a unique lens through which to examine American social history. We're trying to show, sort of show the whole story of, of furniture making. The more expensive pieces naturally exhibit more um, spectacular craft and, and, and sort of um, complicated or sophisticated artistry than the, than the sort of the, the simpler vernacular pieces. Uh, but it's important that you have those too. This is sort of one prism through which to look at, you know, social history and the history of the colonies. You can sign up for free guided tours of the furniture study, which take place on Fridays at 12.30 p.m. Visits can also be scheduled by appointment. To schedule a visit, contact the Department of American Decorative Arts. For YTV, this has been Nicole Daly. A bar that's gluten-free, vegan, chocolate, delicious, and it's fortified with bean protein and fiber. Lab Candy is a social venture to try to help get young girls interested in science. Uh, and we make uh, cool 